And now to some new information in the tragic deaths of five young people in the crash on the Hutchinson River Parkway. Tonight, CBS2 has learned weeks before the crash, child welfare agencies were in contact with some of the children who died. CBS2's Tony Aiello here now with the details. Tony. Maurice, two sisters and two brothers killed in the Sunday wreck had recently moved from New York City to Derby, Connecticut. The school system there says they had not yet enrolled. Now the Connecticut Department of Children and Families says it paid a, quote, courtesy visit to interview the children last month based on an alleged incident that occurred in New York. The visit was at the request of New York Child Protective Services. The Connecticut agency says, quote, there was nothing learned in the interviews which warranted further Connecticut DCF involvement. The four died in the crash of a rental car early Sunday morning, along with 16-year-old Malik Smith. Police say he was driving without a license or permit. They believe Smith, who lived in Brooklyn, may have been distracted or fell asleep at the wheel. Smith's father told CBS2 the boy liked to drive but had been told repeatedly not to drive. A wide-ranging investigation now underway to better understand all the factors in this complicated, tragic case. In the newsroom, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, thank you.